He was a young man with his whole life ahead of him, but tonight the family of Fidel Glasgow are struggling to come to terms with his death. The 21-year-old was stabbed outside a Coventry nightclub at the weekend. A man aged 23 has been arrested on suspicion of murder. In a moment, I'll be talking to Fidel's grandparents, the special singer Neville Staple and his wife Christine. They were on stage at the Godiva Festival yesterday and took the opportunity to deliver a heartfelt message to the crowd about joining together to tackle knife crime. Amy Cole reports. Described as a great kid, Fidel was the grandson of Neville Staple, a singer in the Coventry ska band The Specials, which achieved huge success at the start of the 80s. This, one of their most popular songs, has lyrics which still resonate today. Stop your messing around. But it's Fidel's future which has been cut short. The 21-year-old was stabbed in the stomach behind Club M in Coventry City Centre on Saturday. He later died of his injuries. Yesterday afternoon, Neville Staple and his wife, Christine Sugary, went ahead with a planned performance at the Godiva Festival, dedicating it to their grandson. It was never going to be easy. I'm sure you know, I heard my grandson The emotion too much, Christine steps in. So it's been a really, really tough 24 hours. And um, Neville's hoping to pass a message to you all to, to say, look, we need to come together in our communities and find out what's wrong, what's going on. Talk to your kids, find out what they're doing, where they're going, what they've got in their pocket. Just, we all need to do this together, it can't be done by one person alone, one politician alone. It's all of us. Earlier, Neville expressed his disbelief at how times have changed. When I was younger, none of this used to happen. No knives, no nothing like that. We used to, like I said, we used to fight fist to fist. Yeah. We don't need knives because it's, it's devastating. It costs um, families. It's, because we're feeling it, it's rough, it's rough. Another family suffering and asking, when will this violence end? To my daughter and my grandson! Help me! Mm, well, Neville and Christine have bravely joined us in the studio this evening. First of all, our sympathies from all of us here, Thank to you, you both and all the family. Thank you so much for coming in. How are you bearing up? Uh, it's pretty tough, but, you know, somebody's got to stay strong got my daughter and um, we're there. I mean, it was really hard doing the show for him because um, I needed to cut over um, his wife. Well, my wife mm. said we should do something as well. Which, what, what is it you're going to set up? Yeah, I just, uh, I'm just trying to cope with the fact that, you know, being strong for the family, we're absolutely devastated and I, I guess everything is a distraction at the moment. When we sit still, it, it, even sitting still now, it starts homing in again. And what was the reaction of the crowd like yesterday? Oh, the festival. Oh, amazing. <laughs> the uh, love and support, yeah. wasn't it? Just amazing. Just you could you see a sea mm. of people just... I broke down, to be tears. honest with you. Well, I'm not surprised. Rivers yeah. of tears, you know, mm. everywhere you look. The tears were for us, with us, just amazing. But you've already been sort of, um, sort of affected by a sort of purpose concerning knife crime. Yes. Yeah, I, we are. I think that's what's pushing us. That's what's driving us at the minute. Mm -hmm. You know, we could sit back and, um, which we are, we're grieving, but let's do something. Let him not die in vain, basically. Mm -hmm. You want to do something specific, don't you? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I'm looking at something proactive rather than reactive. A lot of things that are out there, you do see certain programmes and stuff out there but they tend to be once someone's already got in trouble or they're already in the gangs or all this kind of thing. I'm looking at something that would be more more meaty, more um, proactive, right. get into the schools, get some stuff out to parents, you know, because it mm. needs to be everybody. Mm -hmm. And you, you mentioned gangs there. I mean, did you ever wonder if Fidel was in a gang? Do you think he was in a gang? No, he no. wasn't. Um, he was a type of um, lad like me when I was younger. We used to try and stop any trouble. 
and he was like that. If he saw anything happening, he would try and talk to, to um, behave yourself, don't do that, don't do this. So it, to me, he'd, he reminds me of how I was. A peacemaker. Yes. Trying to resolve so it rather earth than. This could have happened. I mean, you've got to be careful what you say because yeah. of the legal side of things, but yeah. you do wonder how yeah. on earth something like this could happen. But yeah. there's a lot of that going on now in life, crime. Then, I mean, before, when I was younger, we never used to have that. We used to sort out our problems differently, maybe like we're going to boxing ring or something. But mm -hmm. now it seems all you can hear about is uh, knife stabbings, shooting, stuff like that. I mean, we're working on a lot of schools. We go to schools as well. Yeah. We do a but lot I of think that. it needs to be when, when the kids are younger and they need an outlet as well. I mean, <laughs> a lot of kids get getting tired with the same brush and that's not so. And we've even spoken to some who have said they have carried a knife before. And we're like, but why? Mm. And it's like, well, we're scared. And if we don't, th that guy's going to get us and this kind of thing. But we want, don't want to do it. We want a way out. Give us a way out. And that's what they need. Someone that can reach out and turn them around, catch them before they reach that stage. Okay, well, look, thank you both so much for having the courage yeah. to come in and speak to us today. And thank again, you. I just reiterate, uh, we're all feeling for you here at Midlands thank today. You. Thank you. Thanks we so wish much. you well and all the family. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Now it's uh, official.